Howdy there. We're going to do a video on Australian Barking Gecko, if I can find it. Or him, her. The name's Sif. What have they done to this area? I'm going to have to redo that other than they're probably in here. Ayo. 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 Yeah, okay. So I got this dude or girl, like, back in December time frame. Like, December 29th, the Baltimore Repticon. If you can stop running away from me, you little demon bro 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 i'm not i'm not gonna hurt you i'm not gonna hurt you you know i'm not gonna hurt you so i don't know why you're doing this anyways this isn't this is just like an air induction video kind of since i've, I've only had them for like a month <laughs> what is that pose what is that pose so yeah these guys are native to australia they were once considered to be like in the same family as knobtails but now they're like under woody saurus Meli, or however it said, I don't know. I have them. My mind's a juvenile, by the way. That this is. This is I don't know if she'll get longer, but she'll get like fatter. <laughs> this is just gonna be her temporary enclosure. Eventually, I'll, I'll be giving her an 18 by 18 by 12. This is a 12 by 12 by 12 right now. She has warm high. Be, 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 be. Yeah. I mean. I really don't know. I don't know much what much to say about her. She eats crickets and dubias. Uh, I dust her food. Wait, wait. Before you do anything, before you do anything, I'm gonna fix your height. I, I know you're gonna be mad at me, but it's okay. It's okay if you're mad at me because I don't like how uneven it all is. So I'm gonna fix that. Thanks. Thank you. Now I'm gonna turn you around. Have you go in there from what I've had for like a month the care is really simple just kind of like a lead kind of like leopard gecko care I just kind of leave her alone most of the time yeah she's a small boy or girl at this point I don't know mm. I have a plant back there so oh wait wait I can see your little face yeah I have like a UVB light on it they don't need it because they're nocturnal but I like having it makes it helps with the aesthetic so uh, if you're wondering about price she was like hundred and fifty dollars so not the worst actually kind of affordable I like her I call her the knockoff knobtail because she kind of is you're gonna hear me flip back and forth between genders for this one because I really don't know their gender or sex whatever you want to call it look at that face it's like leave me alone old man leave me alone big human I'll we'll put that back there because it helps obscure the light so she doesn't feel bad. Yeah. Just a little small introduction video for my Australian marking gecko. Or you can call Australian thick tailed gecko or oh, underwoody saurus milli. Milli. Yeah. Anyways, bye bye. Thanks for watching. Uh next time I'll be doing a video on my Texas banded gecko. Yay.